Greetings and salutations, the ranting engineer back at you. I was thinking about as we go into oil, what I should do for some of these videos. And right away, it was apparent that I need to talk about some of the misconceptions when it comes to oil in Canada. So the first misconception we want to talk about, or I want to talk about, is dirty oil. You hear it in media, you hear politicians bantering around, environmentalists, special needs, special pro, special needs groups, special interest groups, talking about, oh, Canadian oil is dirty. Is it? What makes Canadian oil dirty? I actually did a presentation at my work, so I've got a room full of, I don't know, 30 and 40 oil and gas professionals that don't know a lot about heavy oil, and I asked that same question to them. And a little to my surprise, almost nobody had the right answer. And they started thinking about it like, oh, what does make Canadian oil dirty? So you need to understand that most people have this kind of perception that Canadian oil is ultra heavy bitumen or dill bit. No, it's not. A lot of it is bitumen based. It comes out of oil sands. But there's a lot of conventional oils around. So Canada produces uh, mediums. We don't have any ultralights. We have mediums. Um, we do have condensate. In my case, I don't consider that an oil. I consider that a condensate. It's a hydrocarbon, uh, a natural gas liquid that is usually like pentanes, hexanes. Uh, it could be argued that is that that's an oil product. I don't. I just call it condi. But back to oil. So we produce mediums, uh, medium heavies, heavies, and ultra heavies. Now, to put any oil in a pipeline in Canada, it has to meet a specific pipeline specification. That means it has to be a certain viscosity, it has to be a certain density, or minimum density, which means it has to be only so heavy or lighter than that, and it has to have next to no water and sediment in it. So we call it BS&W, basic sediment and water. Any oil that goes into a pipeline system has to have less than 0.5%. So in other words, it has no water in it and it has no solids in it, no sand, no silt, no dirt. So if it has no water and no sand in it or solids in it, why is it dirty? Well, people complain, um, well, Canadian oil is heavy. Well, the stuff bitumen's heavy. Does that make it dirty? No, you need to be specific. Bitumen is a heavy oil. And by the way, there's heavy oils all over the world. It has a component to it that we call asphaltines. Now, that isn't unique to Canadian oils. There's lots of oils around the world that has asphaltines. Just Canadian oil has a certain amount of it, upwards of 17%. And depending how you define it, it has less. It has 12%. It all depends on the test that you do. So even then and there, you can kind of construe it a certain way, depending how you do the test on it. My point is, is this. It's not dirty because it's heavy, all right? So the heavy component of asphaltines does contain certain things that are not great for certain refineries. So the asphaltines have things like vanadium. Uh, they've got things like nickel in it. These things can poison the catalyst when it comes to refineries. So unless the refinery is set up to handle the heaviest parts of a Canadian oil, or at least the bitumen part of it, it's not really good. Doesn't make it dirty, just makes it heavy. Now, we talked about diluted bitumen. Everybody's up in arms about diluted bitumen. What is diluted bitumen? It's bitumen that has diluent, i.e. naphtha, basically gasoline added to it to reduce the viscosity, then reduce the density that is allowed to go into the pipeline. Is it dirty? Well, no. By, by specification of the pipeline, it's got no water, it's got no solids. It's a heavy component or heavy oil that's got naphtha in it. So... Even like a light oil that's got an API of 20, 23, which is about a density of 920 kilograms per meter cubed, uh, that oil has got the same density and roughly the same viscosity as a dill bit. So what, does it, what makes it dirty? This is what I'm trying to make you think about, is they're presenting that it's dirty. No, in the pipeline, it's clean. So what makes Canadian oil dirty? The actual answer is this. The amount, or the truth of the matter is, we use more heat typically than other oils worldwide. Now keep in mind, there's some other worlds like Venezuelan crudes. Some of the stuff out of Bakersfield is ultra heavy also. But the point is, is because the open pit oil sands use a lot of hot water, SAG-D uses, well, it's steam assist gravity drain, uses a lot of steam. We generate a lot of greenhouse gases to create heat to get that oil out of the ground. So that is why Canadian oil can be deemed dirty. It uses more CO2, or it produces, we produce more CO2 
to get it out of the ground. So when people are starting to tout that Canadian oil is dirty, it isn't. So I'll give you, I'll give you a little thought of this. If we pick apart the hydrocarbon, because I was worked on a project that's now in the public domain, worked for the government, to look at how we can split apart Canadian heavy bitumen, um, it actually is one of the best precursors in the world to pavement. You're thinking, okay, that's kind of cool. Well, you need to understand that if we clean up bitumen in a specific way, we could provide the rest of the world with asphalt because surprisingly we found out in this study there is a short of asphalt in the world for pavement because emerging markets overseas they're making paved roads and they don't have enough of this asphalt precursor to make their roads canadian oil has that so that's the first misconception about canadian oil so you should know a little more about it so this is why i bristle a little bit when somebody says oh it's dirty canadian oil is dirty and they can't tell me why. They come up with some bullshit answer that's made up they don't understand. So now you have an understanding that people are demonizing Canadian oil not on the right basis. However, if you do stand in front of me and say, Canadian oil is dirty because I am worried about how much CO2 per barrel we're, we're producing to get that oil, you got my respect. I'm listening. We can have a great discussion about how we're trying to lower that. Okay, so the next video I'm going to do, probably right quick after this, is talking about pipelines, which is a massive subject in Canada. And basically, I'm going to set the record straight, because I'm going to hit you with math. It's hard to argue with math. Politicians hate that. All right, have a good night, boys and girls. Talk to you soon.